Her no. Business Podcast with JB and CP. Uh, it's beautiful. Glad to be back. Ride with us on all platforms. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Amazon, Pandora, TuneIn, Alexa, Podcast Addict, Podchaser, Deezer, Listen Notes, Overcast, Pocket Cast, Castro Cast, Pox, Box, and Deez Nuts. Mm. Also, YouTube, Facebook, The Pugilism Company. Can't do it without you, dog. Salute to you. We appreciate yeah. you. Uh huh. And anywhere, hey, if you got somewhere you need to hear us, if you heard us somewhere and uh, on your partner's uh, device and you want to pick us up, and you, but you got a certain uh, platform you use, hit us up, baby. We'll get somebody over there to you. Mm. Yeah. We accessible, episode man. Episode 15. Yeah. Episode 15, JB. Look, a lot has transpired since we last spoke. Uh, man, one of the best fights. Definitely the best fight of this year. One of the best fights of the last 10 years. Zapata versus Baranchik. If you remember, a few episodes ago, we told the people, we broke down this matchup. It was a crossroads fight for both mm-hmm. guys. To put one of them back in title contention, Zapata took advantage of it. But Baranchik also did himself a favor that night as well, man. An epic performance. By mm. both guys, several knockdowns. I think five knockdowns. Damn. And Zapata closed close the show, man. Zapata closed the show. Good job, good job. That's what I'm talking about. See, we we said it was gonna be a, we said it was gonna be one of them fights where you know they had a lot on the line. It was a title oh, yeah. eliminator. You know, it was a few things going on attached to that fight. So I already knew them boys was gonna bang. I just didn't expect them to bang like that. I'm talking about man. When one got up, the other one went down. When the other one got up, the other one went down. Like it was just, it was back and forth. I mean, it was a, it was an enjoyable fight. I ain't seen one of them in a while, but they both fought like their careers depended on this fight, man. Because it did, in a way, it did. You know what I'm saying? So, um, Cepeda basically he was saying some shit like, "Oh, oh, I, I shorted them niggas, man. Eight knockdowns. Yeah. My eyes deceived me. Damn, eight eight knockdowns in the fight, man." It was hmm. a it was a Donny Brook. Hmm. Well, hmm. congratulations to them boys. They did their thing. Now Cepeda is in line. Uh, I guess we're gonna figure out, you know, where he go and how everything you know transpired with who Ramirez and anybody else. We just got to see what's going on, man. But it was a good it was a good fight though. Hey, runaway runaway winner for fight of the year for this year. Yeah, I don't. I don't see anything else topping that, man. The top rank bubble really came through for us, man. Mm-hmm. Really came through for us. Unlike the NFL, man, the y'all NFL. need to. Unlike the NFL, man, y'all need to get on y'all shit. Just want to say that real quick, man. Boxing is showing y'all that sports can come back and come back strong inside of a bubble. You understand? The NBA showed y'all too. So NFL, start taking notes, man. Get y'all shit together. All right, back to boxing. Um, Terrence Crawford, Kell Brook, finally. Yeah. Finally, yeah. finally, finally got made. Crawford settles settles on Kell Brook. Uh, yep. Fight's going to be November 14th. Uh, we don't, I don't know about it. It's probably going to be in the top rank bubble once again. Yeah. Uh, and as I've stated before, I'm not even gonna repeat it. Yeah, Next. nobody gives a fuck. Yeah, you know, Kell Brook is damaged goods, man. This should yeah. be, this should be a easy fight for Terrence Crawford. If it's not an easy fight for Terrence Crawford, then he's in trouble. Yeah, that's what I said too, man. If he don't blow him out the water, man, and you know, beat the brakes off of him, or at least make it, even if he wins by a decision, if he don't win easily, bro, then all that. Spence well, talk a, and once a man has had stuff. both his orbital bones fractured, yeah, then any top level fighter should be able to handle that guy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I agree with that. I agree with that. So what you also, got on? Man, um, also, 
Loma Lopez is fastly approaching. Fastly approaching. It's gonna be next weekend, October 17th. Mm -hmm. um, I think we got a game on that, right? Oh yeah, we got a PS5 game on that. Call of Duty Cold War, need that. Right, right, yep. right. I'm riding not to with, do, I'm riding not the dual copy. I'm riding with the tried and true. Oh. Lucille Lomachenko. Oh, you know I'm going with Lopez, man. You know, young line. I'm always, I'm always invest in a young lion than an old goat. Well, That's my way. Goat stands for greatest of all time. No, I'm talking about goat as the animal. I'm talking about goat as you, the animal. I know, what you, I know what you're talking about, but I'm telling you, he hasn't reached old goat status as of yet. Oh, oh he's on old goat status. He's going to have to, Lopez is going to have to show me he needs to take the old goat out the pasture and do do work. Snooky, do work. I'm you got to show me, B. I'm, I'm not believing it. I'm looking for I'm looking for all out quality grade A ass beating that's going to be delivered uh, from Tiafimo Lopez, and it's going to be in extraordinary fashion. I'm talking Side about note. fantastic fashion, bro. Side note, ads. Adrian Broner, he always sneaks into the conversation. Have you seen any photos of him lately? Any mm -mm. footage of him lately? I haven't paid attention. I haven't paid the attention. The man has got to be pushing 200 pounds. Ooh. Come he's on, got a, He's got a dad bod at this point. And How? they're talking about they're talking about him fighting in January. He's got serious work to do. He's got serious work to do, and that's just more taking more of a toll on his body, fluctuating going that, up in weight like that, and and taking off the weight. The guy talking about just, fighting at one forty. Any any talking about yeah. him fighting at one forty? Ain't no way. Ain't no way in the world, bro. Look, that's another another page of the of the Adrian Broner saga. Yeah, uh, but but as yeah. for Lopez, uh, Loma and Lopez, brother, the key to this fight is going to be whether Lopez establishes the jab distance, keeps Lomachenko at bay, because if Lomachenko can can slip the jab effectively, give him angles, and get his shots off and punching combination, it's going to be a long night for the kid. I think I think Tiafimo Lopez is going to do all of his work in the inside. I think the closer he gets to Tiafimo, I mean, the closer he gets to Loma, or uh, the closest, the the closer that Loma decides to try to earn work his way in, he gonna get smoked. I think that would be a mistake for Lopez to Loma. make this an inside fight. Loma Chinko, as much as he didn't want to take that loss in his first world title appearance against Salido, he learned. He mm -hmm. learned the game. He's, mm -hmm. he's got all the tricks on the inside. He can dirty box you. He can give you angles. He's got quick hands, great feet. You don't want to fight that man on the inside if you're Tiafimo Lopez and you've got the reach advantage. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I'm, I'm, and to be real, that's one of them fights, man, you really can't call. I'm rolling with the young line just because, you know, you know, he didn't show me that I'm I'm always looking for the new, the next one up. So yeah. I'm rolling with him. But that's one of them fights you really can't call. That shit can go either way because they they still they skill sets work for each other. You can call it if they get on the inside. It's gonna be a long night. Lopez has got power. He's gotta he's gotta keep him on the end of those punches where, yeah. where they're snapping. His power diminishes the closer you get to him. Mm, I'm not gonna say that. I mean, he damn sure he he got Richard Comey out of there in the inside. It wasn't an inside fight, but the closer they got together, it only took it only he only needed a few inches, man, to really get him to get him up out of there. And he kept him on the outside. Very, he kept him on the outside. When he was on the outside, when he was on the outside, he was effective. Oh yeah, yeah, he was effective. But he got that knockout blow from coming from the inside. He he moved in after he softened him up. Yeah, yeah. He did get right. a lot closer to him. And it didn't take that much yeah. either. But because I think with he Loma... Had, with, he had worked. 
it yeah. worked it. Yeah, but when Loma, it's, it's, it'll be kind of difficult for Loma because he won't be a straight up fighter like that. He gonna give him a lot of angles. He gonna be all over the place. You know, the death in, the the only way Tiafimo will get beat, Loma gotta beat him with his legs. Get on angles, get out the way, move, slip and slide. You know, he gotta use that shit because he's not gonna beat him going five power to five power. Tiafimo gonna smoke him. Well, that's a fact. One thing about it, Lomachenko is a very cerebral fighter. Mm -hmm. So best believe he's been studying the film. He knows his game and he is fed up with the big mouth, Tiafimo Lopez. I give you that. He have been talking some cash money shit, man. Like, you know, yeah. I, I was I was surprised though, man, because you know his you know, Tiafimo daddy normally do all the talk. You know what I'm saying? Tiaf Tiafimo has been lisping some shit his way. Yeah. He has been talking hella shit. Uh mm -hmm. cash money. Shit, as you say, he been talking I thought it was shit, man. Uh, like he was trying to take over for the nine nine and the two thousand. Yeah, bro, it was. I, I'm uh -huh. surprised, but at the same time, though, you know, I mean, this is the stage he need to do it on. You know what I'm saying? Like this big stage, show his confidence, show that he don't really give a fuck about anything. Loma brings to the table, and just come with it. It may, it may work against him, but just saying, no, I, I like the confidence. I like the confidence. You got, got nothing to lose at this point. You know, talk mm -hmm. shit and back it up. Uh, yeah. And uh, hey, but as we move on, the following weekend will be Javante Davis and Leo Santa Cruz. Yeah, as I as I, as I have uh, already called. Oh, hold up, hold up. Speaking of that, speaking of that, next weekend on the sixteenth is going to be the debut of uh, Javante Davis and Leo Santa Cruz All Access Special. So y'all tune in to that. Because that's gonna be pretty interesting too, and I'm really, I'm really interested to see, you know, what, so, what's been going on with Tank. So they doing an all access the day before the fight. Mm -hmm. They're doing it on the 16th. Just one, okay. That was, I think they're doing it. Um, it's gonna be yeah, it's gonna be Friday. They well, it's it's gonna be a two, it's gonna be a two episode deal, right? The first one is gonna be on the 16th at 8 p.m. on Showtime, and then the second one is gonna be on the 23rd. <laughs> so. Just, oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. The so, fight's on the twenty fourth. All right, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. So, they, you. so starting next week, they gonna have two episodes of All Access. I'm like I say, I'm interested to see because you know you haven't been seeing too much of Tank on on the social medias, on the socials. That's and, a good you know, thing. Yeah, it's a good thing, but it's also I want to know like what he been up to, what he been doing. Like I want to see his training. I know he taking the shit serious. Grind season. That's what. Oh he's yeah, to. yeah. Strap season. Strap season. He been up to it, so I want to see what's up with him on oh, no. that. But y'all tune into that. No, it's no, it's no longer strap season. He's got the strap. It's grind season. Yeah, grind season time, right? It's grind season. The man is in the ironing out things. He's really sharpening up his tools. Yeah, getting. But to I want to see though. Getting to the work. I want to see. I want to see, man. What what he been up to, bro? You, you you're gonna that. see it on full display in Los Angeles, California. Leo Santa Cruz backyard. He's gonna dog him. He's going to Gotti that boy. Mayweather yeah. Gotti two is what you're gonna see in the ring mm -hmm. November 24th. You're gonna see tremendous, exciting one way action. You're gonna see a Javante Tank Davis coordination. The man is too small. He don't have enough. He ain't got what it takes. Tank Davis. Is an A plus <laughs> fighter. Javante Davis is a C plus. I mean, Javante Davis is an A plus fighter. Leo Santa Cruz is a C plus fighter, and he's gonna show that man. Ooh. Dig a hole. Dig, Dig a hole. hole. Dig a man, hole. On that gonna, note, yeah, you ain't gonna get no resistance out of me, baby. I understand it. I can see it. And a couple episodes ago, and maybe last episode, you did tell me you explained why it was gonna be a full on. Mayweather Gotti ass beaten. I so what's it? you love to see it. Yeah. I mean, I love to see him. Like you say, I watch I watch Mayweather Gotti all the time, man. And that was like one of the most beautiful displays of quality grade A ass beatings I've ever seen in my life. I get it at least so, once a month. At least yeah, it once, once a month. month. Once a month. I'm talking about man. Well, I need to or not. I know, man. I'm gonna tell you right now, man. That that A piece combination he put on him in the fourth round, that shit was awesome. I'm talking about I got my eyes closed. I can visualize that goddamn combination right now. He hit him with a overhand, overhand, 
moved his hands with the left, hit him to the body, hit him to the top, came back, slipped over, and cracked him with a left hand, bro. That shit was beautiful. Yeah, it was, That's it the was. one that's showing in slow motion. Poetic. And you can see Ooh. God is you can see God is face contort with every blow. Man. And I remember specifically Larry Merchant saying, it's not the power that's bothering Gotti. It's the accumulation of the punches. It's hard to be, it's hard to be confident when you throw in one punch and you getting eight back. <laughs> Bro, that shit was awesome. That shit was awesome. <laughs> I think Larry Merchant really was just disgusted. Oh, night. He, could, oh, he probably it's hard to stay. Night. It's hard to stay confident when you're getting when you're throwing one punch and you're getting eight back. I just can't see Gotti not selling out. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Lampley said he got to sell out and go to the body. <laughs> Easier said than done, Lampley. <laughs> bro, that shit was beautiful. That shit bro, was beautiful. Lampley act like his child died that night. Oh, man, man oh, bro. Was... He got to sell out and go to the body. <laughs> bro, that shit was awesome. Man, I'm yeah. telling you, man. They was thoroughly, and I mean thoroughly. And when I not, say that shit. Not I'm... tonight, champ. Not tonight. Nah. Bro, they was thoroughly disgusted with that display of brilliance by the <laughs> great. TBE himself, Floyd, Floyd Joy. Money, Floyd, Joy, Money, Pretty Boy, Floyd, Mayweather. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? That shit was awesome. Oh, yeah. That shit was awesome. We got Haney Gamboa, too. We, we missed that one. That's November 4th. That's November 4th? November 4th. Yes, that's November 4th. That's coming up pretty soon. So, 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 so check it out. We got Loma Lopez on the 17th. Okay. You got Tank Santa Cruz on the 24th. Let's, okay. We would be remiss to omit Usyk Chisora, the 31st. 31st. This, yes. That's three consecutive weekends of high-level boxing for you, for your entertainment. Then, right, four consecutive weekends. Four. Haney Gamboa. Haney Gamboa. I think when we take a... Do we, do we, wait, 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 wait. The four... What's the 14th? Is that the next week? That's yeah, 14 is the next week. So hold up, hold up. Hold up. So are you sure? So are you sure Haney and Gamboa is on the fourth? As because, of now. Yeah, as, as of, of now. Because that's a Wednesday. Because no. that's a Wednesday. That's a Wednesday? Yeah. And it's I on did the see zone. That. It's on yeah, the so zone. It might be a, it might be a Wednesday. Might be call. On, it might be on the Wednesday. So look, boxing fans, you got a full plate. You got a full plate. You got a buffet. Four weeks in a row. Mm -hmm. uh, hey. No, they ready. moved it. They just moved it. They just stuff. moved it. They hey, moved? they just moved it from the fourth to the seventh. Because now they added they added Danny Jacobs and Gabriel okay. Rosado on that card. Oh, okay. So Gabe Rosado's well, gonna go in there and uh, hold on, something just happened. They just I just got an alert. Just got an alert. It said, uh, da, 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 yep, Gambell, okay. Haney and Gamboa is fighting on the seventh. And uh, Danny Jacobs and Gabriel Rosado is fighting on the 21st. Yeah, so they're they, not going to be on the same card. They broke the cards up. You give us seven weeks. You sure, are you sure about that? Because it might be more because, it might be more because, oh, that's the same night as a... Uh, you know what? The twenty first. That's damn. That's the same night as Garcia and um. No, they, they moved to. December. Oh, they moved it. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, perfect, 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 perfect. So, so look, let me run Ooh, it down again. Shit, Loma Lopez on the seventeenth. Yeah. Tank Santa Cruz on the twenty fourth. Chisora Usyk the thirty first. Haney Gamboa the seventh. Crawford Brook on November fourteenth. Then you got Jacobs Rosario, November 21st. First. And then the old guys yeah. are going to close it out. Yeah, that's crazy, Mike right? Mike Tyson, Roy Jones Jr. Hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. no. Number 28, Tyson and Jones on the 28th. And then you double back. Then you double back. The week after that, you got Spence and Garcia on the 5th. Then after that, 
You got uh, Donnell making, yeah. You got uh, Abi Ali versus uh, Donnell on the 12th. That's a, that's a, a PBC Showtime card. Also on the 5th of December, along with Spence and Garcia, you get Ryan Garcia and Luke Campbell. Boxing Man. fans, if you that's have a lot of weeks. complaints, if you have any complaints, you're just being a cynic, cynical bastard. Yeah, bro. You're being cynical and you're looking for problems. You should just sit back and enjoy of course, all these may not live up to expectations. Damn. There might be some buzz, but they're getting in the ring. They're doing it. They're stepping up. COVID, we're learning to live with it. Basically, yeah. is all that's happening. We're learning yeah. to live with it, and uh, we're doing we're doing our thing. Hey, it is what it is. But we must discuss. We got to discuss. Haney Gamboa, what you think? Hmm. What you think about that, man? What you think and about I mean, that fight? I'm not. I'm never gonna. I'm never gonna count Gamboa out, especially because he he's still a fast fighter. I think his gas tank. I think he maybe have a good eight rounds in the tank. That twelve round shit been out the window for him, but uh, I think it's a good test for him. I think it's a good a good fight. Could keep busy fight for sure, but I mean, I'm not gonna count him out. But I'm also not gonna sit here and say Devin Haney not gonna smoke him. I mean, I'm expecting Devin Haney to smoke him. I'm ex- I'm in- I'm expecting Devin Haney to Devin Haney to win. I'm just not gonna say that he's gonna come out and smoke him in the first three rounds. You know okay. what I'm saying? I think it's gonna be another tank and Gamboa looking kind of fight. I think Gamboa is gonna do his shenanigans and his antics, you know, to try to, you know, prolong the fight. Uh Gamboa I think he's gonna hit him. Gamboa's a veteran, man. Yeah, he I think he's gonna he's try to he going to touch him up. He's going to touch Devin up a little bit because he still got fast hands. Now, you know, you can't take that away from him just yet. His coordination not really there. His gas tank not there no more. His power might not still be there, but he still have fast enough hands to hit him a couple times, see where he at, right? So um, I think it's going to be a good fun fight. It's going to be a good fun fight for as long as it lasts, but I expect Devin Haney to either step on the gas after the fourth round and get him out of there, or I expect it to go to a 12-round fight. And after the fourth round, Devin Haney just beat him up. That's what I'm thinking, you know? So, you okay. know, it's a, it's a, but it's a good fight. If we couldn't get the Gary Russell situation, it's still a good fight to watch. It's still something to watch to, so, so Devin can display his skills because Devin was going to yeah, smoke De- Devin Russell. Devin needed, he, he, need, he, he needed to get in the ring. Yeah. He, it's, it's a good fight against a veteran opponent. Uh, good Good title defense for him. Mm-hmm. And uh, just move on from there, man. Just just get in there, look good, and move get out on the way. To the next. That's it. Get in there, look good, and get out and, the way. Uh, right. As we stated, Errol Spence Jr., Danny Garcia, big mm-hmm. time title title fight, December fifth. Tickets go on sale October fourteenth. That's next Wednesday, fans. Mm-hmm. So if you're planning on attending, make sure you get them. Because the Javante Davis Leo Santa Cruz tickets sold like hotcakes. They oh, going out so of the door fast. That's gonna that 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 fight. And you know what? That fight's not in LA. They moved it Damn. to the Alamo Dome. You know why they moved it? Yeah, the, uh, fans, 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 yeah. fans, fans. That fight's in the Alamo Dome, and nothing's left but tickets up top. Damn, so, for Alamo Dome? Hold up. Yes. Okay, so hold on. I'm going to that too. Yep, nothing is left but tickets up top. So the fans are excited about being able to attend events again. So if you want to attend Spence Garcia at the AT&T Stadium, Cowboy Stadium, make sure you're ready to purchase October 14th. That will be a great event. The boxing event this weekend, we got uh, Limpin' Nets. And Abdul Kuk Grove. Did, did, did you just did you just call that man limping nets? Yep, I did call him limping nets. I ain't playing the no man's games. name. The man's name is Lip Nets. I don't give a damn what it is. It needs to be pronounced limping nets. So that's what I'm gonna call him. All right. So they got to fight this week. This weekend, Saturday, I want a tent. Showtime. Uh, it's a PBC card. <laughs> 
you know, <laughs> we'll have to see how that goes. <laughs> hey, man. I have a tug though, but look though, wait till I get to the UFC names. You're gonna be like <laughs> hey, what? Hey, hey but 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 Lipness uh should have the business in that fight, man. He's a he's a solid fighter. Uh, yeah. So uh check him out. Check him out, fans, and uh Woo. we'll have reaction on that next week. Yeah, man. And uh hope, hey, hey, next week he'll either be lip nets. Or limping nets, depending or on limping what he your nettis. Or limping your nettis. You know what I'm saying? It just depends how I'm feeling, bro. Like, I'm not sitting here fighting with y'all names, man. I'm not doing that shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> and in the UFC, we got a fight night card on the same night, Saturday the 10th. Uh, Moraes versus Sanhagen. So... We'll we'll see sounds, what that's about. Sounds too. about right. Sounds about yeah. It sounds right. I got it. I got it close to it, man. You know, I chopped it up on the on the front side. Fuck them. It hey, is what man. it is. But yeah, we back. We up. We in. Uh, had a few little situations, man. We had to attend to last couple of weeks, so we were dropping one episode a week. But now we back into our regular rotation of two episodes a week. Remember this season one episode fifteen. Hey. You know what especially it is. Especially now. Especially now, man. We we've got action up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The action is heating up in boxing. Mm-hmm. We're looking forward to it. It's it's uh it's boxing season. Although it's boxing season year round, it is this really box, boxing yeah. season right now. Yeah, it's we boxing can season call this boxing can. season, bro. Yeah. Hey, UFC is about to really see why boxing is king. It yeah. it there's nothing like it in the world. JB and myself, we're going to try to get down there to the AT&T Stadium and uh, be in the To the Alamo Dome, too. Alamo Dome, too. Oh, you're going to get the Alamo Dome? I ain't going to get that, yeah. man. San yeah, Antonio. I'm, 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 look, man. San Antonio. That's, that's an hour away for me. Not, that's, yeah, that's not the best place for me, man. I, I don't really like San Antonio. <laughs> They don't have too many yeah. hot chicks in San Antonio. Yeah. What are we going to do, man? The river walk gets old. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Charles gonna catch the, Barkley. Charles Barkley really turned me off from San Antonio. Yeah, there's a lot of fat chicks in San Antonio. I mean, you know, I I, I don't want to speak on it, but I I heard that too. So yeah, let's see how that go though. But look, I'm a, I'm gonna be out there. I'm gonna catch. I'm gonna get my media credentials for the Tank and Cruz fight to be for the Alamo Dome, and then I'm gonna get my credentials for the Spence and Garcia fight in Dallas because you know that's an hour away from me one way, and then uh three and a half hours away from me the other way. So I'm going to catch both of them events. So get look, back people, there. you know what this means? We're about to make connections. We're about to get the, get the, get the, uh, the contacts for these guys. We're about to start having them all. We're going to have interviews, fighter interviews, trainer interviews, people uh, involved in the business of boxing. We're going to interview everybody. We're going to get, we're going to get the, uh, point of view from every aspect of the sport not gonna leave any stone on turn here we're gonna mm-hmm. do our due diligence gonna do our research we're gonna ask all the right questions we're gonna ask what you want to know we're gonna get the inside yeah from look, the horse's mouths but look though but look though to clarify something we already we have the connections to all the fighters man it's just the the thing is is man with this covid going on nobody doing real sit down interviews they don't want to. A lot of their managers is telling them to opt out of <clears throat> talking to media people just for the simple fact is, you know, a lot of stories been coming out that they're trying to get a hold on, you know, the the narrative around the fighters right now. Look, um, man. But we're going to give y'all a lot of behind the scenes. It's going to be a good opportunity to get y'all behind the scenes to see what actually goes into a boxing event. And like I said, we're going to get exclusives for show sure out there Look, because man. a lot of these boys we want to talk. I got connections, but I don't have Javante Davis connections. That's what we're trying to do. Trying yeah. to get to those connections. We're going to do that. We're going to do our thing. You're going to watch the grind from the bottom to the top, people. Be your, stay along for the ride. Say you were there. Say you were here first. You know what I'm saying? The Hurt Business Podcast with JB and CP. Ground level shit right here. I mean, you getting right now. Hey, baby, this is raw and uncut, unfiltered. We filming from our cribs right now. You know what I'm saying? Filming from our cribs. Soon, we're going to be in the studio. 
so on, so forth. You can say you watch the rise. You can say you watch the rise, man. It's nothing like it. A modern day success story, speaking it into speaking it into existence right now. Hey, we love you guys. We love to talk stuff. We love to interact. Hey, can't wait till we can go live and have fan phone calls. All that's in the making, people. Hey, stay here, stay tuned, stay ready. Real fans, real sports, real talk. Right here on the Hurt Business Podcast with JB and CP. We out. Peace.